Hey guys, I'm here with a new video today. I'm going to do my best to show you something that I feel like Sony didn't explain very well, which is transferring games that you have for the PSP onto your PS Vita, if you have the new system. Uh, real quick here, as you can see, hopefully, I have these three up top here, the Mod Nation Racers, Ninja Gaiden, and Uncharted. Those are PS Vita games, but the rest are PSP games. And if we go to the PlayStation Store. Start that real quick. Okay, so if you go to the PlayStation Store that you can access on your PS Vita here, you'll see that there is an option on here for the PSP games. Now this will give you a pretty wide range of titles. Um, I've heard it's about like 250 or so, however, as I'm sure anybody who owns a PSP out there knows, um, this is not all the PSP games in existence. That, however, doesn't mean that if you have digital downloads of your PSP games on your PS3, you won't be able to put them on here. There is some limited compatibility issues, as I will show you later, and it doesn't seem to be that there's any sort of list anywhere of which titles aren't compatible, which is kind of annoying, but Sony said that they will continue to keep updating so that they can keep adding digital PSP downloads to be compatible with the PS Vita, as well as eventually uh, PS1 Classics being compatible. Okay guys, so what we have here is I have my PS3 open. As you can see, um, I have a variety of PSP games here um, downloaded. Uh, we have New Adventure Island, which is actually a remake, and I think it can actually be played on PS3. SOCOM Fireteam Bravo, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, Killzone Liberation, and Little Big Planet PSP. You need them here in these bubbles, like this, and uh, not saved down here to a folder, which I actually have for PSP titles. Otherwise, you'll need to re-download them. Just go to your download list in your history. Okay, so you're going to take your PSV to here, and the uh, charging cable... Uh, Plug it into your PS3 in the USB port on the front. Plug it in. And on the PSP on your TV, the PS3 on your TV, it's going to say connected to the PlayStation Vita system. Operations such as copying or backing up content are done from the PS Vita system. So from here on out, everything's going to be done here. As you can see, the content manager bubble there is bouncing. So that's what we want to hit. And start. And from there, you're going to have several different options here. We have the PS3 to the PS Vita system at the top, the PS Vita to the PS3 system at the bottom. We have backup, restore, and delete backup files. Um, obviously, restore will just reformat um, the memory card, I believe, and that's how you can get rid of that. Backup will take all your save files, games, and stuff, and back them up to your PS3, but what we're concerned with is up here at the top. So if we have the PS3 system to the PS Vita, which is what we're going to be using, um, you can take any PSP games or other PlayStation Minis or eventually PS1 Classics on your PS3 on your PS Vita. Or if you download them straight from the PlayStation PS Vita store and you want them on your PS3, you would use the second option, which is the PS Vita system to PS3 system. So we're going to select the top one. And then you have applications, video, media, photos, Again, with games and stuff, what we're concerned with here is the applications. And then it'll say applications for the PS Vita, applications for the PSP slash other, and save data for the PSP slash other. If you already have some save data for your PSP games on the PS3, you can obviously port that over. If you have PS Vita games download to your PS3, it'd be the top one, but what we want is our middle one here. And then it'll give us the options, applications downloaded on the PS3 and applications copied from the PS Vita. We're going to take the top one, applications downloaded on the PS3. It says, please wait. Okay, and then we have a list of games here. Now, it's showing Little Big Planet PASP, Killzone Liberation, Silicon Fire Team Bravo, and New Adventure Island. If you're paying attention, you might notice that Siphon Filter Dark Mirror is not showing up on here. It is my understanding that that means that Siphon Filter Dark Mirror is not yet or may never be compatible with the PS Vita. I'm hoping it is because the sequel is, and they're both really good games. Up in the uh, top corner here, it'll tell you how much memory you have left 
on the memory card or the memory card in the PS Vita and then you have your four different options here you can check which ones you want to port over or there's a select all button and then once you do there's copy or delete and then it takes a relatively short amount of time I copied all four at the same time it took maybe five ten minutes and then when you're done with that you'd obviously close out the content manager and then your PSP icons will show up up here uh, I just wanted to make this video because I thought this was something that wasn't really well explained by uh, Sony on their website and um, again as far as I know new PSP games will be added um, but there's not also not really a list for what titles aren't yet compatible anything that's on the PS Store on the PS Vita is definitively compatible but there's several games that weren't on there that I found on my PS3 and downloaded that are compatible Siphon Filter Dark Mirror is one of the exceptions though so Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, just like, favorite, and uh, see you next time.